me obsessed, got me obsessed, got me obsessed. What's up guys, it's BT here and this is my setup tour for 2023. We are in the same space but a lot has changed over the past year since you guys saw this setup. I've designed this setup for play, to get a lot of work done and most importantly to relax. So I'm going to take you through my setup as well as previewing my new PC that I just built just a few weeks ago. So let's get started. One easy way to add a vibe to your room is to paint an accent wall. I wanted to go dark and sexy this time around, so I went with a Benjamin Moore soutane. It took me about a day to do, easily changed the whole look of the room. And then I threw my old Etsy paintings on it to give it some contrast with the black and the white. And I gotta say, I love the way it turned out. One easy way to make your room look upscale is to add some blackout curtains. Not only do I use this to block out light when I'm filming, but also it makes my room look a lot bigger by putting that rod up near the ceiling, then also having it bunch up on the floor. It just gives your room that luxurious look. And these are just some ones that I picked up on Amazon that are super high quality, they're super thick, and they look great. This, of course, is my relaxation area. If you remember before in the old video, I had an Eames chair here from Herman Miller, but it was just taking up way too much space because if you don't know, I actually use this room as a filming room as well. That should be a giving. I'm doing it right now. But I was having a lot of trouble with my tripod getting in the way. So I got another one of my dream chairs, this Wells from Crate and Barrel, found a good deal on it, and the rest was history. This thing, as you can see, I can lay up in it, I can grab a book and do a lot of stuff here. I can decompress, I can think about stuff, I can meditate, everything gets done in this chair. This is my thinking space, my happy place. Also in this corner, we have a fake Paradise Palm, a Hector from Ikea, as well as this stump, and I have this little side table from Amazon that looks super premium, People always ask me about it, it's super unique, looks great. All right, so we're about to drop the hottest mixtape of 2023. No, I'm just kidding. But behind me is the Floyd shelf. Shelves are a easy way to add personality to your space without much effort, let's be real. And you can always swap out things. Now I have to do this because I wanna keep you guys visually interested. So I'm always picking up new things, designing the shelf, uh, I have kept a few things the same, like the books, which are some of the books that inspire me, like Show Your Work, Steal Like an Artist. These are two of my favorites when I just need a quick pick-me-up. I've added some lights from last time, just to give a vibe when I want to turn it on. These are controlled by a controller, but I broke the controller. But uh, they're pretty cost-efficient, I think, for about five or six. It was about $16. You can just put this underneath the shelf. I have my YouTube subscriber, 100,000 subs. Thank you guys for that. We're almost at 200K. I got this little rocket from Novel Keys. Thanks, Novel Keys. Then we have two of my favorite new pieces in the entire space, which are these two Bandai figurines of Demon Slayer, Tanjiro and Yuzu. Crazy detail on them. They're a little on the pricey side, but worth every penny. That was peak anime for me. Of course, we got some of my favorite keyboards like the Baka 60 with Bento on it. And then we also have the Space 65 with the GMK Mito laser, one of my favorite sets ever. Just look, man, it just never gets old. This has to be in the top three ever, if not number one of GMK set. My pothos is sleeping, my baby. Hello again. So this is one of my favorite corners of the room. Like I said, we have a palm over here and then we have this light bar from Govi. I did a video on this a while back. This thing has been incredible, I love it. You can use this remote change the color, change the vibe of the room, goes to RGB. It can also do like cooler, warmer. I usually keep it on the warm, you can dim it. And I love creating these little lines and shadows on the wall, it just gives a nice vibe to the room, shining it through these leaves, mm. chef's kiss. Don't mind me, I'm just cleaning. I forgot to clean it up before the setup tour. Yeah, I know, it's a setup tour. I should have been ready, but let me. So I know you guys are all interested about this PC over here. This is the H9 Elite case from NZXT. Inside we have the MSI Z790 motherboard. Been super stable for me. 
3900K. Went back to Intel, baby, Team Blue. We got 32 gigs of RAM. We got a 4090 in there. This thing is a beast for gaming and content creation. I was previously editing all my stuff on a MacBook, an M1 Max, because the performance on PC just wasn't as good. But now with this thing, it's actually faster than the MacBook. And playback has been flawless on the timeline. Exports have been crazy fast. Games, I can stream and game on this PC with no drop frames. The temperatures are amazing on it, only going above 50 degrees Celsius on occasion if I'm like streaming and gaming at the same time crazy stuff let me know if you guys would want to see a full in-depth video on this but for now i just want to leave you with that preview of this sexy beast oh and rgb is back baby since this pc is so much bigger than my small form factor that i was mounting underneath my desk i now got this ikea bacant cabinet that the computer sits on top of and it's a black and wood just like the whole theme of this setup black wood gray so something to think about when you're putting your setup together make sure at least two items from any part of the room match like the wall matches perfectly with the curtains the desk the cabinet and the shelf match together like the things just tie together and then the floor or the rug as you will see matches with the entire room to tie everything together say with me tie everything together for my mic i'm using the shore mv7 this is usb instead of xlr you can do xlr but i like not having to have an interface this goes directly into my pc and this is on a road boom arm oh yeah this is my chair it's the herman miller logitech edition and it's great Seriously, I keep trying other chairs, trust me, but I always, at the end of the day, come back to the Herman Miller M-Body. It's just the best chair on the market. I don't care what anybody says. Another one of my favorite additions to my desk are these light bars from Govi. These can stand up or they can go on the back of your TV or your monitor. Super cheap, about $66. And I say cheap because the Philips Hue, which is what the rest of the room is done with, the light bars for the desks are upwards of like $300, whereas the Govies are 66. Crazy value. So we talked about one thing that was on the desk, but we need to actually talk about the desk. So the desk is a butcher block. This is a live edge. It's about $350. Something similar from an actual desk company will cost you upwards of $1,000 plus. So this is a super W. I just took some tongue seat oil on it. That's what I did before, but what I noticed was after a while it got a little dull. So what I did, I hit it with some polyurethane and it just gives it a nice glow and it makes it the centerpiece of the room before it kind of disappeared because it just felt dull and uninspiring. Now I can say with certainty that this thing is amazing. You get all the glowing from the monitors, from the light bars, from the different areas in the room. And these are sitting on the only legs that I trust, the Uplift V2 legs. This is a sit stand desk. So not only can I get the proper height on it, so I can adjust it using the paddle so I can get my arm ratio correctly so I can get the proper position when I'm gaming. And then when I wanna do some work, I've been standing a lot more and it's done wonders for my mental health, not just sitting in a seat, just like a robot all day. I can move around, I can vibe, I can dance while I do my work. And that thing has been a game changer. So if you have a sit stand desk, make sure you are taking advantage of that standing function. Now, a lot of you have noticed that I got some new speakers. These are the Canto Took speakers. Crazy good. After these, I think there's a point of diminishing returns. They're about $1,000. I got mine for about $600 on eBay. It has a little ding in it, but who cares? They look nice, minimal, they sound immaculate. The first thing people do when they come over, I take them to this room, I play music for them, and they are just blown away. So I've been streaming a lot lately, and the number one question that I've been getting is, what monitor am I using? I'm using the Asus 360 Hertz 1440p. Great colors for when I'm video editing, uh, when I'm viewing content, when uh, just anything, when I'm gaming, and like 1440p looks super sharp. I also get the 360 Hertz. The response times on this are great. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this monitor. The only downside is it's pretty expensive at I think 1050 or $1,050, so uh, yikes. To the side of that, we have a 4K monitor from Dell. This one is my editing slash viewing content 
slash seeing my content in full 4K. Uh, it's always nice to have like a little 4K monitor. And then when I'm, you know, streaming, I can turn it like this. Voila, well, almost. Voila, I have a setup where I can have my chat here, my game here. I love this setup. And I'm able to do this by using these arm or this arm right here, which is the quarks. Now, what I love about this arm is it's minimal, so it doesn't take up much room on your desk, but also it's metal. A lot of the crap on Amazon is plastic. And at $115, this is an absolute steal because something of this nature from another company, 300, 400, $500 for this. So metal, Super W, do not sleep on the Corx monitor arm, the dual monitor arm. Now, after my monitor, the next thing that I get asked about is what keyboard I'm using. I'm using the Wu-Ting 60HE still. This has a Jim K. Yuri on it with a space cable. It's kind of hanging off for dear life, struggle busting, but this is what I've been using. I haven't put it in a new case because I already have some other keyboards that I use when I want to type. So I just kept this stock. Like, I didn't really care too much. And then the mouse that I'm using is the Death Adder V3 Pro the goat this thing is crazy good the buttons the optical switches the side buttons are perfect for me the weight the way it feels the new design of the shape feels great i'm using the 4000 hertz dongle with this this thing is just an absolute beast and it's close to perfection for me i thought i would be using the signature edition but as time has gone on i just keep coming back to this one i just aim so much better i cannot deny with the death adder v3 pro now this is sitting on the Hien, and if you guys remember my channel, I used to hate this one, um, but a lot of people recommended that I get the Soft, and ever since I got the Soft, I have just been stuck on it. Now I do switch off to the Otsu and the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn from time to time, but at the end of the day, the Hien is where it's at for me, the durability, the consistency. It doesn't catch on my arm, that's a big thing. It's a little rough, but eh, I'll deal with it, and it's of course in this sexy red. Look, it just peels off my desk, stays in place, everything that I want in a mouse pad. For my headphones, I'm using the HD820 still, bass heavy, very balanced, and the sound stage for gaming is just straight up hacks. And then for my earbuds, I'm using the Campfire Atlas uh, with Comply tips. So those are when I just need a break from having those big cans on my head. And then for my DAC amp, I'm plugging that into the Sennheiser HDV 820. It is a big boy, but anything that I throw out, no matter what kind of headphone, it sounds great. It's a solid state one. Uh, so yeah, I just love that thing. Uh, I also keep a candle always on my desk always always and then i always keep this diffuser it's given to me it's by nest it's a bougie one pretty expensive uh, any diffuser will do the trick though but this just makes your room smell good you don't want to have a stinky room you don't want people to come over and be like what the hell's going on here you don't want that weeb smell in your room all right like we're gamers but we can smell good too right we can smell good ask twitter what i should get for an air diffuser everybody recommended this one the levoit it was pretty cost effective, makes your room smell so, so good. Uh, fresh air, breathe in it, you know, get all those toxins out of the air that might be messing with your vibe. Love that. Now also I got this new rug, as you can kind of see from Costco. Now I did have a crazy colored one before, but it was just throwing off the vibe. It was shedding a lot, it wasn't as plush as this one. This is like an unofficial couch. People can come here, sit down, chill, lay. We can all talk, vibe in this room. I could play some music using those Took speakers and it's just a complete vibe. So, you know, if I'm just tired of sitting there, tired of sitting at my desk, sometimes I just lay out here on the floor. So it's pretty cool. So I think I've done a pretty good job with this space. It's turned into everything that I could have ever imagined. I can, like I said, play here, I can get work done, and I can also relax, most importantly. Now I've gotten so much into design that I do want to take on a, another challenge, which is my closet. I have a lot of keyboards, mice, mouse pads, uh, camera gear. So I wanna make and redo my closet and put in some custom shelving. So if you guys are interested in seeing a project where I tackle that, let me know and I'll be sure to film it and post a video on it to help you guys out as well. Until then guys, it has been your boy BT. This is the setup tour for 2023. Hope you have enjoyed your stay. I enjoyed having you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.